Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. I'm serious about it, man. I've got the best wine show anywhere here. All right, I'm probably somewhere in the middle of a multi-day, multi-wine review session, over 20 wines being reviewed in probably two or more days. Plus, I need to record three specials at some point after this. So I have content until almost like March of 2022. Damn. Okay, that's when I wrote that script. Uh, yeah, I'm on day one and I've done a lot of wines of the white variety. And I have a rosé left to do. So let's get cracking then. So this is the first funny, of three wines and reviewing from the River Road Family Vineyards. I've actually already had the other two. All of them were Chardonnays made in three different ways. Let's get the background on the River Road Winery first. So last June, in one of my last 1337 wine episodes, I reviewed three wines from the Ron Rubin Winery. That winery is the more premium of the two. If you saw that episode, you may remember something about Ron also owning the Republic of Tea brand. Tea and wine are both passions for him. Now, he started in the business working for his father's wholesale company in Illinois. Over the years, he eventually found himself in the Green Valley AVA of Sonoma and purchased River Road Family Vineyards in 2011. Now that I got you caught up on the winery, here are the stats for this wine. The 2020 River Road Family Vineyards Unoaked Chardonnay Sir Lee Aged Reserve suggested retail price is $16.99. California's AVA. Chardonnay, there's no percentage given, but I'm not doubting it's 100%, but legally it only needs to be 75% Chard, but I'm pretty sure it's 100% Chardonnay. Anyway, 100% stainless steel, surly aged for four months. The alcohol is 14%. The total acidity or TA is 5.7 grams per liter. The pH is 3.68. Not a high acid wine, should be about medium acid, So, but we'll check it out when we get to it. All right, before I get into the wine, what's the deal with surly aging? Well, that's just a fancy French term for meaning on the lees or dead or spent yeast, uh, yeast cells after fermentation. Chardonnay is one of the few white wines that can benefit from allowing the lees to stay in contact with the wine after fermentation. Now, if you've been watching all my stuff and I don't remember where everything is, I have other wines that are not Chardonnay that have had some lees contact. So normally a wine is racked off the leaves and then put into another tank or barrel to finish aging. Aging on leaves can provide more texture and a richer mouthfeel. It can be done instead of malolactic or in conjunction with malolactic. In this case, I'm guessing the wine went through mallow, at least by the numbers. I'll see if I detect it during the tasting. And what I mean by the numbers is that the TA isn't super high and the pH isn't super low. They're kind of like that mid range. All right, so let's get into the wine. I'm super excited to try this because I actually already tried the other two wines because I did this not in the order of how the wines are going to be, like how I'm going to do the wines as far as episode order. Oh, but I kind of did it in the order that I pulled out of the, of the refrigerator when I was doing my bottle shots. Also, let's have a little fun here. Having a hard time seeing some of the stuff on the wine? It's because I'm using the blue screen. For this wine, I use the green screen. I was smart for once. Anyway. And that was the very first one I did in the whole session. So I did the blue screen. I'm sorry, I did the green screen. Then I had to put the blue screen back up. And I made such a big deal about it in this, in that episode, which you're going to see two more episodes. That I want to make sure I remembered to put the green screen up because all these other wines I've been doing have green labels on them. So that's why I bought the blue screen. I'm really happy I got that too. Anyway, <clears throat> don't need that. All right, a little color here. 
So we got a medium concentration of yellow, not really a straw or anything like that. There's a touch of green in here too, usually indicating young wine, but Chardonnay also tends to throw a lot of green. There's kind of a goldenish color to it, but it's more yellow than anything else. When you have Chardonnay, you get like a golden color. It usually means oak aging. Now this is unoaked. Yes, unoaked, make sure I said that, and surly aging. So um, Chardonnay just has that natural color. It wasn't a deep gold color, deep yellow. It's like a kind of a medium yellow. So medium plus some aromatics, it's, you know, stick my nose in there. So getting the yellow, getting a little golden apple, a little peach, a little orange, get a touch of popcorn. As I've already mentioned in the next two videos, popcorn is a very prompt or very uh, common aroma in Chardonnay. Uh, it's usually, if I, if I know this correctly, if I'm being correct, it usually has to do with the fermentation process and usually because it's in an non an, an anaerobic environment so no ox no oxygen and basically it's a sulfurous type of reaction it also might be tied into fermentation temperature but anyway you know obviously no oak on this but you know orange yellow apple little peach tangerine popcorn like unmistakably chardonnay tastes good yeah just stainless steel surly didn't say any batonage. That's one of the, like when people say surly, it, it may or may not indicate that they stir the leaves. It may just sat, you know, on it. And it's still, so what's happening is that the yeast cells are drawing stuff out of the wine and they're, they're, they're creating a, a, some chemical reactions going on. So you, you tend to get a broader mouthfeel that you can sometimes get from mallow. And then other times you don't get it. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like doing mallow without doing mallow. It tends to keep the acid higher. However, as far as ma mallow tends to lower your acid. If you don't go through mallow, you just do lees stirring, your acid tends to stay higher. If I know this correctly, I, I may have to look that up because it's off the top of my head. But I think there's a creaminess to it. Not a butter thing. I don't get like a, I don't get the, the diacetyl, which I don't get any other wines either. So, but the popcorn's there, apple. There's an elegance to the wine. I like it a lot. This is my style Chardonnay. Unoaked, there's a crispness to it. There's not a ton of minerality to this. It's not like, it's not totally Chablis style, but it's close enough for like an American United States type of uh, Chardonnay. It's clean. It's crisp. It's it's not it's not like over the top on anything. However, and I've said this in a, in a bunch of the episodes that I've recorded today, Lee's aging is is really elusive for me. And it's if I know it's there, it's different. If I don't know it's there, I miss it all the time. So what what do I normally what? What is normally associated with Lee's aging? Stale beer, I call pasta water or like a pasta type of, of um, aroma or flavor. Sometimes you get like this bread component, something like say a croissant or, or brioche or not quite sourdough, but you get like that dough quality, maybe pizza dough. I don't get any of that. To me, it's all about the mouthfeel. And that's where I will a lot of times miss Lee's aging because I don't talk about mouthfeel being attributed to Lee's aging, especially if I think it's Chardonnay, because that's usually the one that's, well, not the only one, but that's one of the most prominent ones that has it. It tastes good. You should buy it. How much is this again? It's not expensive. What was it 16 bucks, 17 bucks? Oh, I, I passed it. 17 bucks, yeah. Absolutely worth it. You should get it. All right, that's gonna do it for the wine. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, tell all your friends. Until next time, drink some really killer Chardonnay, man. Cheers.